We have already recorded a lot of macros, did some manipulations with them, and saw Visual Basic Editor. Now it's time to get systematic introduction to VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. So in VBA, uh, there are objects and methods or actions that you can do with those objects, and also properties or characteristics of those objects. The objects could be a workbook, a worksheet, a, a range of cell, a single cell, or a picture, or any shape. Uh, the methods could be uh, specific to an object type or generic, like for example, select. Uh, then list of properties would of course depend on the type of object. Let's open the Visual Basic Editor. I'm still in our little investment model right from here, Visual Basic Editor. Now, um, let's see, now is one of the sheets is selected and here is uh, his properties. And uh, one of them is, for example, visible. And there are three different states here, zero hidden, one visible, and two very hidden. Well, um, let's see, if we record a macro of hiding a sheet, then uh, we will see how the code is works in here. So let me distribute the windows. Now, uh, when I start recording a macro, let's say it would be hide macro. Here's the new model uh, appears automatically. And it starts with a sub procedure, practically something that uh, marks the beginning of the macro height and the end of this macro. And uh, in the middle also we can see that uh, we can uh, make some comments that are not part of the code, they are not comments uh, with the quotation marks. Some comments for ourselves or some descriptions, etc. So uh, yes, we are keeping or recording the macro. So just selecting a sheet and automatically we can see in Visual Basic Editor sheet, sheet for select object and the method select. And then when we hide it, there is a new command here that's called the selected sheet that is object, property visible, and now this property should be equal to false. Okay, let's stop recording the macro. And now if we select this force sheet, we can see it's zero hidden. And uh, now we can also unhide it. Let's record another macro and see what happens. Uh, unhide. Unhide. Sheet 4. Okay. Now we have another macro and uh, here a simple, uh, even more simplistic uh, code line in here that uh, sheet 4 object, property visible, now it's true. Or one that is the same for uh, VBA. Let's stop recording a macro. Now I wonder what is the super hidden quality. So let me make it list the sheet 4 uh, very hidden. Now, I still see it here in the Visual Basic Editor, but if I try to find it in the Excel, I cannot. It's super hidden. So if you want to really hide something from a user, then this is the way to do that. And you can actually do it with the code. Let me actually delete just this one. And I'm changing the hide command and here I want to, instead of true, uh, I need a prompt here. Okay, one, zero, two, where hidden is two. I want to assign the property value two. And now, uh, let me unhide it from here. And now if I run this macro, then my sheet four disappears and I cannot find it from here anymore. So I can unhide it again either by uh, typing a code line, uh, quality, the property should be zero, oh no, one is visible, right? And if I run this one now, yes, it's unhidden. Or I can do it by changing property in here. Now we know the method select. Another very useful method is activate. Let's assume uh, we have uh, recorded very complicated macro. Uh, well, let's record it. 
would be new, uh, big macro. And what we want is to assign to this cell, let's say, value 5. Enter. Okay, we have a code for this. Now let's stop recording. This is our super big macro. And we can, by the way, right here already edit it. Let's see, we can, by the way, just say like that. We don't need any selection. We directly assign the value for some kind of range. Let me delete it and see what happens if I run the macro. Here it is, my five is back. Okay, it's working. And now let's make a button for it. Let's say some icon. Something like that. Okay. And assign macro. And here it is, our big macro. Now checking if it works. Yes, perfect. And now for some reason, I want to copy this button and uh, have it somewhere else. Let's say it could be my report or some other analysis sheet. I don't know. But I want it to work in my uh, sheet 4, not in here. This is, let's say, area busy with something. Okay. Now if I click it in here, of course, there is no reference to any worksheet. So what it does, it actually puts the number where I don't want it to be. Instead, what we can do, we can either specify the sheet for the object. So it's sheet 4, range B3, equal to 5. Let's run it. Hop. Here it is, our 5. Or, for example, if we are dealing, uh, let's say, with somebody else macro and we have a lot of comments in there and we don't want to specify sheet for everyone, what we can do alternatively, we can apply the method or the action activate. An activate sheet means that we actually come in here and everything that goes after that is happening on this sheet unless something else is specified. So let's now run the macro. Yes, and it's here and we are also uh, on this sheet. The possibility of a recording macro is, I think, very amazing because you can, every time, whenever you want something to happen, you can record a macro and see how it would look like. Like, for example, test. Uh, how would it look uh, deleting the file from here? Aha, uh -huh. the action or the method is clear contents. Or what if I want to select the whole column? Aha, uh -huh. here is the syntaxis, so easy. Or I want to select a, some particular range. Here it is. Also in VBA, uh, modeling uh, loops is possible. So let me delete this test macro and uh, let's, let's work with this big macro. So uh, I can start typing uh, for loop. Let's say for i equal from 1 to 5. Oh, and here uh, Visual Basic for Applications Complaints expected 2. So practically instead of this um, sign, we need to use 2 in here. Very good. We have some uh, prompts for uh, coding. Now let's say I want to record uh, 5, but not to the uh, single cell, but let's say to the whole range. I wonder if I can do it like that. And here I, so I would be changing. And I'll get a new cell all the time in the loop. And end of the 4, would it work? Aha, it complains, 4 without next. So practically it's another hint that for the loop 4, instead of end, we should use next. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Aha, amazing. Now we got all this range filled with 5s. How good is that? But then uh, there is no point of using a loop. We can just say uh, range from uh, B1 to B5. Uh, but uh, when the loop becomes more interesting is that, for example, we can 
change the value. And now, by the way, it's value, it's text, it's not a number. Just simple number would be okay, and then it's numeric format. So let's say 5 plus i. Then run it now. And now we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is actually makes sense now for the loop to use it. So you see, even without knowing the syntaxes in VBA, you can just start coding out of the blue, and then uh, the editor will uh, give you some hints how to make it work. And of course, it would never hurt to check the web uh, how to make certain things working. Now, I can assign values in the code to display in the worksheet, but I also can do the other way around. Let's say my A1 would be 5, and now here I can say that n is equal to range um, a1, right? And here there would be i from 1 to n. Would it work this way? Let me delete those things. And we should get the same. Yes. Now the number of iterations in the loop could be defined by a user who doesn't go to Visual Basic Editor, but can specify value in a cell. So you see, it goes both ways. Uh, I can get numbers from the sheet into the VBA, or I can assign some values or some calculations and display them on the sheet. Having even this much basics, uh, one can create really sophisticated models. Here are some tips to remember. First, you can organize some calculations in Excel itself. You don't need to code everything. Then, if you don't know or forget some comments, uh, you can always record a macro and see what kind of code will be generated. Then, don't be afraid to edit macro that is generated by recording, so uh, it's pretty often a mess, and you can check your edits step by step whether they are working or not. And finally, whether you are thinking about implementing a single simple action or uh, want to build a whole sophisticated um, program with VBA, uh, it wouldn't hurt to check existing solutions in the web.